Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to create a service interface and the implementation class for that. So let's begin. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a new package for the service. And I'm going to call this service. And I'm going to create an interface and I'm going to call this to do service and I'm going to create a implementation class for that to do service IMPL. This is going to extend the interface which is to do service and click finish. So first of all, I'm going to annotate this with the add service annotation and inside the to do service, I'm going to declare a method which is public void create to do and this is going to takes the to do dto as an argument to do dto and i'm going to call this to do let me import the to do dto and inside the service implementation and i'm going to implement that method so first of all i'm going to auto wire the repository private to do repository and I'm going to call this to do repo. Let me annotate this with a auto wild annotation. All right. And now inside this uh, create to do, I'm going to implement this. So I'm going to first we're going to make use of the to do repo to call the find by to do because first we have to check whether that uh, the, the the to do is available in the database or not we have to check for the existence so to do repo dot find by to do and we're going to pass the to do dot get to do and this is going to return an optional to do DTO optional to do DTO so to do optional and then let me import the, the optional as well I'm going to check for the condition if to do optional dot is present if it is present then we know that the user is trying to save the duplicate to do like if the user is uh, trying to save that with the already existing to do so for that we're going to throw an exception through new to do collection exception and to do collection exception dot to do already exists else we are going to set the created at to do dot set created at and a new date and we're going to pass the systems current time milliseconds and let me import the date as well from the util package and then we are going to make use of the to do repo to call the save method by passing in the to do object and this set created we already added in the controller in the next video we are going to remove that so we are going to add it inside this service and we are getting this error let me add this throws to do collection exception and also I'm going to throw the one more exception which is constraint violation exception constraints violation exception so let me import this and now inside this interface we are going to 
add the same declarations we're going to throw from the service as well okay I think this is constraint violation exception all right so let's copy this and paste it let me import it here okay so now we have created a service method and we are throwing that exception if the user is trying to save the duplicate to do okay so let's save this and in the next video we are going to refactor our controller and we are going to test our work so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video